Hi, this is Dr. Catherine Dow reporting for Room Now. I'm at ULAR day two. So if you missed this one poster, it's oral presentation 0131. Um, it's something definitely to review. Um, what it is was that we've always, you know, in the United States said that methotrexate is safe in men. But in terms of direct proof, um, we don't have direct morphologic proof until now. So in the United States, methotrexate is okay. FDA says it's not. The European League Against Rheumatism really hasn't made a statement about this or any guidelines. So there was this group that studied methotrexate and, uh, in men, and they had methotrexate uh, pre-exposure and post-exposure of methotrexate and evaluated their semen. So in case you didn't know how to evaluate semen quality, um, it's about morphology, it's about the number, the motility, as well as whether or not there's DNA fragmentation. So the men actually gave samples before and after methotrexate. And what was great was the fact that morphology, motility, concentration, even semen volume, Testosterone level, LH, FSH, they're actually the same before and after. Now, what was interesting though, is that DNA fragmentation was increased before methotrexate was given. So it's possible that it's actually active disease activity that's causing the infertility that we're seeing in some of these men. And that's always what we've been suspecting is that disease activity can affect fertility. So this is Dr. Catherine Dow, um, take the methotrexate men and you have a great day. Follow me on Twitter at KDow2011.